Hi, my name is Shaz, celebrity hairstylist and makeup artist and educational contributor to Macquarie International. I am so excited to be a part of Macquarie International and even so more excited to be a part of Macquarie University. As you can tell by my accent, I'm from Trinidad and that's really where my career started. I started doing hair at a very early age, at the age of 13 because my mom had her own salon as well as other businesses. At the age of 18, I opened up my first salon. Two years after that, I moved to New York and I worked under the industry grades, trying to hone my own skills and get my own signature. I moved back to my country for five years, but it wasn't challenging enough for me. I was at the top of my game. I was a celebrity hairstylist, makeup artist in Trinidad, but I knew that there was more, you know, there was more out there for me. So I made a decision to move to Florida. I got off the plane at 2.30 in the morning. At eight o'clock, I had an apartment and at 10.30, I was in a salon working and building my business or trying to build my business, nobody here knew who I was. Okay, I was a superstar hairdresser from Trinidad, but I came here and nobody knew me. And I said when I was going to Florida that I was going to come to Florida for a challenge. And it's been challenging. A lot of people see your glory, but they don't know the story. And it has not been easy for me. It was never easy. Everything that I've had to acquire in Florida took a lot. Okay, there were times that I had to make decisions. Um, I'm trying to build my reputation or maintain my reputation. I don't want to provide services to people that I know was going to be harmful or it will compromise the integrity and the health of their hair. So I had to turn clients away. But in the long run, it helped because they went and they told their friends, look, I went to this salon, this woman refused to do my hair and take my money. So you could go see her because if your hair can't have the service, she's not going to take your money. Okay, that helped to start building my clientele. I went out to um, the, the banks, I went to the restaurants, I went to the supermarkets, and I offered to do people's hair on a complimentary basis. And I will put the wow factor into what I was doing. You will swear that they were paying me over and above what I was supposed to do because I wanted them to look in the mirror and be really amazed at what I would do for free. So you're really happy with how your hair looks, right? And they'll usually say yes. I says, now how would you like to get your hair done free every week? And they will say, yes, that sounds really good how I can get my hair done free. I said, well, just send me five of your friends. Every week, just send me five new clients and I will continue to do your hair for free. And when those clients came in, I also gave them the scoop. Well, if you want to get your hair done for free, send me five. That's how I was able to build my clientele. You see, when I came here, I had a goal to open my first salon if I stayed for two years. And when two years rolled around, it took two years and two months I opened my first shop because I had a clientele of 300 strong. It was time for me to move into my own spot and I did that. I said if I stayed for four years I was going to buy my first home and I did that. 25 years later I'm still here. 12 salons later I'm still here. Seven homes later I'm still here and like I said it wasn't easy. I remember there was a time I had to sleep in my car with my son for five nights okay, to do what I had to do. But I never gave up, and you can't give up. Okay, after I was here nine weeks, I bought myself a brand new car six weeks after I got here. Nine weeks, I got carjacked, and they took my brand new car that I didn't even have insurance on because I didn't have a driving record in the United States. Nobody wanted to give me insurance, but the dealer let me leave the lot with the car, okay? At that time, everybody was like, well, why don't you go back home? Why don't you go back home? Every time something happened, I would have people at home saying, well, come back home because you have, you have a choice. You have options. You don't have to stay there. But I hadn't accomplished my goal. You see, if you don't set any goals, you are going to be you know, easily rocked, easily shaken, and easily knocked down. And you're going to lose sight of what you really want to do okay or what you plan to do you have to set goals and you have to try to achieve them no matter what because life will just come and hit you a two by four in the head what you gonna do you gotta get up you gotta brush it off and you gotta keep going okay this opportunity here that I see with Macquarie gives you an opportunity to do just that okay you could set another goal you could have I have been looking at this okay and thinking I can't believe that Derek Alexander and his wife, Mercy Alexander, has given us the opportunity to have an online hair business. You see, I know what it costs to have an online hair business. You're talking about a minimum investment of at least ten to $20,000 so you can get some inventory. We don't even have to do that. You know, for a minimal amount, we can have an online store.
with a website and with website management they take care of your inventory there's education on there there are all kinds of training tools you know it is amazing you have an email marketer you have a lead grabber all of these things and they just ask you to pay twenty dollars a month to keep that alive when i looked at that i said you know that just makes sense because i know what it cost me to open each and every one of my salons i know it was nowhere near what they're charging for this business okay and as much as i would have wanted to have my own hair store I know that I was not ready because if we're talking about a hair store now, we're talking about at least a quarter million dollars. I was in no position to do that and neither are you. Okay, so you need to take this opportunity and come on board with Macquarie University and Macquarie International. As a hairstylist, I know all the risks and the hazards that go along with being in this industry. I retired a few years ago for two and a half years and I think I retired at the top of my game but after two and a half years I came back into the arena to fight. I winded up with carpal tunnel syndrome, I'm having problems with my feet, issues that I didn't have before. You know a lot of my friends have um, issues with their backs and I know back in the day I used to do 17 to 22 clients a day. You're talking about being in the salon 18, 20 hours a day because I love doing what I was doing, but the fact is I barely got to spend time with my son as he was growing. My son grew up in my salon. Okay, I can do the things that he wanted to do, so he had to do the thing I was doing. He grew up in my salon, he spent all these years in there, now he looks like a hairdryer at 36 years old. And I know a lot of times uh, hairdressers miss out on events with their kids because your clients are coming in. It's a lot that we can't do because you can't like so locked into this book because that's your means of income. You know, we miss out on a lot, on, on quite a lot. And here's an opportunity for us to be able to build a side game. You know, you have like a backup plan. You know, we never have a plan B, we're just hairdressers. What's the plan B when your clients don't come in on a daily basis? Because you know, we can have a full book. Tomorrow looks like it's gonna be a good day. And then you get to the shop, it's either gonna be bad weather or something happens and then you had no clients all day. And when you're self-employed, that could be a hell of a thing to have to go through, okay? Because you already spent that money when you looked in the book. Now you can have the opportunity to have a business where you can have residual income. You can have income coming in from transactions that are being made from not just in your little city, not just in your state, you know, but all over the United States. And Macquarie has plans to go internationally, you know, pretty soon. With the money that you're going to be able to create in this business, you can now make decisions. You can make decisions as to, should I go to work this week? Should I take off? Can I take my kids on vacation? Can I take some family time? You know, now you can decide to cut down on the time that you spend in the salon. You could probably do two or three, you know, select clients per day. You could probably work two or three weeks per day and still supersede the income that you were making standing behind the chair every day. Now we gotta find a way to move away from behind the chair, especially if you're a salon owner. You know, to effectively manage your salon, you need to spend 80% of the time away from the chair. 20% of the time behind the chair, 80% of the time wandering around, coaching, training, educating. That's what I'm mentoring. That's what we're supposed to be doing, but in reality, we're not. We spend more time behind the chair and our business is going awry, okay? We're not there to manage the business. And to effectively manage that business, you need to be in position to do that. Macquarie International will allow you to be able to effectively manage your business, build residual income, build a retirement fund, okay? And perhaps even get tax write-offs for your home-based business. Okay, that's another thing we probably need to talk about, but I'm not a tax expert. But you can talk to your tax specialist about that. You know, by having this Macquarie International business as a home-based business, you're able to write off your taxes, okay? What about being able to write off your hair weave? Okay, when you talk to your clients, you talk to your clients about being able to write off their hair weave, because you can't be in the hair business and walk around with raggedy hair, okay? You gotta look tight every day, every week. So now that becomes a, t a tax write-off. Now you don't mind investing in the premium quality caviar collection platinum brand, because guess what? You could write it off. 
Salon owners and salon professionals can maximize the Macquarie opportunity by including this in their business. It's a good way for them to, you know, create supplemental income. Over the past few years, with the economy being as bad as it is, we've been forced to do other things. Yes, this is supposed to be a re recession-proof industry, but it seems not to be for the salon because people are going to the beauty supply stores on the corner. We've been forced to sell hot beverages, lingerie, handbags, travel, anything to try to make that extra money in the salon. And it had nothing to do with our business. Quite frankly, it was distracting from the business and what you really love to do. But along comes Macquarie International. And what are they selling? Hair. That just makes sense. We already do hair. We already sell hair. We probably send our clients to the store to buy hair. We never get a thank you. We never get a, re a reward check, nothing. Now we can provide that service to our clients. We can provide premium quality hair to our, to our clients and make a profit and thereby increase our bottom line. This is a simple way for hairdressers to increase their income, you know, through and have create generational wealth, really, in a multi-level marketing industry. Again, uh, Macquarie International is a multi-level marketing company. We use hair, you know, a lot of people are wearing hair extensions for whatever reason, for fashion, for aesthetics, for cosmetics, or maybe because they have to and use it as a prosthetic. Either which way, it's a service that we're already offering in the salon. The problem was we were sending that business someplace else. Okay, we were referring our clients either to go online or to go to the store to buy that hair. We were not getting paid for it. And if it's one thing that the world knows is that hairdressers have big mouths. We do. If we like something we're using, we're going to tell everybody about it. If we know about a good sale, a good product, we tell everybody about it. So if we found a good hair that we were happy to use, we will definitely tell the hairdresser that was next to us. We tell the hairdresser that was in another salon somewhere. We will talk about it, but we will never get compensated. Now with Macquarie International, they have a simple business model. Okay, not only can you buy hair wholesale and sell retail, but every time you recommend and refer someone to also get their own online store where they too can buy hair wholesale and sell retail, you are going to be compensated for that each and every time a transaction is created on the line whether you did it or not and that is awesome I mean they pay you nine different ways in this company you could get paid down to seven levels in this company for stuff that you didn't even do you could set it up once okay residual income is amazing all right how would you like to keep getting paid for that one hairstyle that you did 10 years ago and you keep getting paid over and over and over and over again. Macquarie International allows us to be able to do that. On top of that, this is the first company that I have ever aligned myself with that offers a warranty on their hair. In my 40 years experience, it has never happened. Never, ever. Okay, they give a warranty on their hair. That told me a lot because if somebody's going to stand behind their product, they're not in business to lose money. So they would never just say, well, we're going to give you a warranty anywhere from 3 to 12 months. If they knew they had ba a bad product, they won't do it because with a bad product, they will be losing money. So just, that, just the thought that they would say, okay, we're going to give you a warranty. That creates a safety blanket for you as a professional and it creates a safety blanket for your, star for your clients and the other stylists that are in your shop. Because even if somebody says, well, why is the hair... Um, so much more than the average hair in the store. This is premium quality hair. You know what you're getting. You don't know when you go to the store what you're buying. But if you're in the salon, you know what you're getting when you get your hair from Macquarie International. So this is one way that you can really maximize the fullest potential of Macquarie International. You know, we talk to our clients, we have their undivided attention for a minimum of two hours. And sometimes they could be in the salon for eight hours. Why not talk here with them? You know, when they're sitting in your chair, talk here. You don't have to talk about the celebrities that you don't know or talk about the other stylists down the street. Talk here while they're sitting in your chair. You see that client that's sitting in your chair getting a hair extension or some type of addition service from you? Tell her about inviting her friends to take a look at Macquarie. Now, not all of her friends may be coming to your salon. They may be going to another stylist. But the fact that you have now exposed her to the fact that she can have her own online store where she can purchase her hair 
And you don't mind her bringing in the hair to the store now because now you know what type of hair she's getting. Now she comes into the salon and she gets her hair done. She purchased the hair at a discount. She has a warranty and she brings it into the salon and she pays you to install it. Now she can share that opportunity with her friends. They're not coming to your salon, but guess what? They go into another salon. And now they have their online store where they're buying their hair and taking it to the shop. Their hairdresser now falls in love with that salon, that, I'm um, sorry, with the product. And they too want to know where did she get this hair? Now that stylist signs up. And this could go on and on and on, okay? You just tell, you tell five people. And that five people become 10 people and it becomes 25 people and it becomes 50 people. And before you know it, you have all these people that are buying here online for the one thing that you did, that decision that you made to get your own online store and you shared it with your, your client and now she's spreading the word around while you still continue to spread the word. Those few dollars that come in on a weekly or a monthly basis is going to make a big difference in your life. You know, in the beginning, you might say, oh, well, that's just a few dollars. Those few dollars add up. And if you think it's just a few dollars, don't spend it and see how quickly it adds up. Hairstylists think differently than their customers do. See, in this world, we have two types of people. We have merchants and we have consumers. Everyone can be a consumer, but not everyone is qualified to be a merchant. And if you're a salon owner or you're a salon professional, you've put yourself in the merchant position. And we're going to be hosting calls on Monday nights specifically for you, the beauty industry professionals. It's going to be called the BIP call. And I want to invite each and every salon owner, salon beauty professionals. We're talking about the distributors that sell hair products that are going into other salons on a daily basis. I want to invite you to come onto this call and see really how you can increase your bottom line how you can make sense out of what you're doing and not have to close your doors because right now that's the reality a lot of salons are going out of business but we need to keep the doors open and we you know it's a paradigm shift that is taking place in the industry and if you don't shift by choice you will be shift by force so you need to make that decision today what am i going to do if this makes sense to you it's going to make dollars in the long run Hey, Macquarie International, this is Derek Alexander, CEO, uh, humble CEO. Uh, I'm just thrilled to death at this magnificent woman that we have right here. This is Shaz. She is a celebrity hairstylist, a celebrity makeup artist. She's been in the business for decades. She's done thousands of women's hairs. She's owned 20 or more salons. She has really made a name for herself and we are thrilled i am thrilled i am honored that she wants to be a part of macquarie international and better yet macquarie university in helping us educate you and teach you more than the average person knows about hair the hair they wear the hair they're going to be selling in macquarie also how to care for their hair it's really exciting so shaz i am just thrilled to death that we finally got to meet because we've been trying to talk for weeks and now we're sitting here so we're in Palm Shaz, Beach Gardens. Thank you for driving up today. Thank you for, you know, the video that we've shot. Uh, welcome to Macquarie International. Thank you. Welcome to Macquarie University. Uh, Shaz has been given the honor of being our um, stylist uh, motivator, our stylist trainer every Monday night at nine o'clock because you know Monday is the day that most stylists take the day off uh, well, they don't watch Monday Night Football, so they're going to get on the phone and they're going to call and they're going to talk to Shaz and they're going to uh, hear from her how they can build their Macquarie business and also build their personal income, their residual income through Macquarie and using the Macquarie system, they can even build their own stylist business. And may, imagine how powerful that's going to be when thousands and thousands and thousands of women from all over the United States go to our website and they can punch in a zip code and find us a, a, a certified Macquarie stylist or salon in their area. Guys, we're here to help you. We're here to support you. You're the backbone of the hair business. Uh, one day we're going to look at this video and say, wow, remember 2012? <laughs> so I'm just so thrilled and excited to have Shaz here. She's amazing. And I want to thank the, the, the people that introduced you to Macquarie. Um, because we're going to take it to another level, aren't we, Chad? Yes, we are. We're going to take this to a whole new level. You haven't seen anything yet. 
the game has just started so either you're gonna get on board or get off board get out of the way get behind us because we are going to do this thing big okay this is not you have no idea how big this is going to be and I'm really proud to be a part of Macquarie. I want to thank you for inviting me on board. I want to thank um, the people I reached out to help. You know, Miss Celeste Taylor has been so helpful. Um, I've never met her, but you know, when I needed help and the thing is you, you have to understand that, you know, people might introduce you to this business, but then you can't reach them and that's okay. Don't quit because you can reach a person that sponsored you into the business. There's always somebody else in this business that's willing to help you. And Celeste Taylor has been so helpful in guiding me, helping my team, and doing all this stuff, which I, I could never, ever be thankful enough. You know, as I like I've to say, some people uh, uh, drive the bus, some people ride on the bus, and some people miss the bus. So now is your opportunity to get on the bus and drive and take it to the next level. Get the, your passengers on board, get your Macore members and start building a team, build a legacy, build a future and build your retirement in Macore International. We're here for you and we always will be. As I, as I said before, uh, Macore has never weft you behind. We will uh, never weave you broke because we always have your track. So God bless. I like that. <laughs> Take care.